President. Are you embarrassed by your failure to get a person on the court for the second time, sir? No, but I think there are others that should be. Well, well who in this case, sir? Judge Ginsburg? No. Well, well, who's responsible for his leaving if it isn't he? He chose to leave in view of the harassment that was coming. It's a public partnership with you. Who harassed Judge Ginsburg, sir? Right here, sir. Mr. President, can you tell us if you're close to naming a, another nominee? The Lisa Chauvin with the National Center Center, your wife's book, Nancy, uh, you reference it. And these young people go to the White House every year. Hopkins House is in the neighborhood center. These ladies, Rosanna, Jenna, Vanessa, works with them. They provide a full range of services. Represents, as you can see, the yes. Salvation Army, yes. which is a uh, services to families, does an incredible job year round. So. The Visiting Nurse Association does a great job with, with at home cancer care aids, and Robin Cuff represents American Heart Association with Vivian and Bernie here. They do a great job and are supported in uh, 100 of cities, in United Way cities across the country. They're a great agency. Yeah. The BNA has got the 50th anniversary this year. Great agency. If we had something like that when I was a child, I wouldn't have had to go to Fort 
until I was 14 years old before I knew that I needed glasses. <laughs> <laughs> sir, who harassed Judge Ginsburg, sir? That's a serious charge. Could we, could we please get an answer to that? I think it's very evident. Well, we'll slip down the next program. It's Monday? What, he's warming up? Dr. Heisman. Dr. Heisman. Dr. is a uh, oncologist and has done a wonderful job in this whole area of encouraging other doctors on, on the cancer detection. Uh, and he's done a tremendous job. Tan uh, Nguyen is a, taking a test, a high-risk test on cancer. Use a computer, got the profile, and gives you the exposure that you have getting as a cancer potential person. I think your family has been a great example of how to cope with cancer. Your leadership, by the way, Nancy's experience has, has more than doubled the money grants across the country. People have just called right behind her and got those tests. Right, Doctor? That's indeed correct. We're, um, we're showing this program just as an example of really a wide variety of programs and services that many cancer society volunteers across the country are using to demonstrate that cancer is treatable, detectable, and in many respects curable. Thank you. Sir, did you know that Nancy knows about it? Just curious Sir. to hear about it. Sure. She's delighted to have her example. Sure. Sir, did you let Secretary Bennett do your dirty work for you on this one to force him out? Sir. Marla. Marla Florence. I am going to answer that first question that came to me here, and I wanted to answer it right now with regard to did we do anything to bring this about? Was Secretary Bennett involved? All of that was a distortion, the way that story was told. No. I stood by and, would, and declared I would not withdraw him. He voluntarily made that decision on his own and called me and told me that he wanted to do it. You say he was harassed by whom, sir? Who harassed him out of it? Well, maybe that was the wrong word. Maybe I should use it. He used the right word in his very fine statement, and that was the clamor that arose. Mr. President, Senator Hatch says he and a lot of conservatives are getting very mad at your staff for the way they handled this. What do you have to say to him? We're going to see if he cannot hear the true voice. And because of you, we have been able to say yes. When you came into office, Mr. President, you brought a new perspective on the role of government and the role of the volunteer during the past several years, and also to point out some of the remaining problems ahead. And it gives some impressive details, and I'd like to mention just a few. Of them. With a market value of almost $30 billion, just through United Way and its agencies alone. As you know, we are one of the both is up 21%. United Way, of course, gives more money to social service organizations than any organization outside the federal government. Now we've the final tally there was $48 million. That represents $1.3 million over the prior year. I think that says something about it. Never been healthier. 
Our contributions have never been higher, and our volunteers have never been more committed. Show. <laughs> well, I'm delighted to meet with all of you and give so much of your time for so many worthy causes. With the success of your accomplishments to date, uh, but seriously, in the front atrium stands a bust of one of the most perceptive foreigners to visit the 1800s. He identified a spirit in America that set us apart from those in other countries. Neighbor helping neighbor. It was an accepted part of the running of a successful community. And yes, from our earliest days in Hollywood to our current jobs, Nancy and I have tried to carry this spirit with us. Through our administration's private sector initiatives program, we've been able to see how, when free of the restricting hand of government, the private community of Saragossa, Texas, the citizens there had lost hope. Then hundreds of volunteers poured into the town to rebuild not just homes, but lives. The of us summed up most adequately by the plaque hanging near the front entrance to this building. It reads, to increase the organized capacity, the country remains strong. Consider, for example, that during the third quarter, which ended in September, the gross national product in constant dollars rose at a 3.8% annual rate spurred by business fixed investment, which was soaring at an extraordinary 24%. And just more to be done. Your spirit of cooperation is the same spirit America wants from those of us in government, is demonstrating to the world how a caring nation can unite to help the less fortunate among us. Through your agencies and volunteers, you've met the challenge I set forth to you one year ago. Nate, we're Americans. It's been a privilege for me to come here today to share the encouraging news of your progress. And as we've seen, for services to women is up 500%. Child welfare programs are up 198%. Services for the elderly up 100%. And funds going to substance abuse have increased of ours. Some time ago, earlier in my term as president, at a dinner at the White House, the uh, White such things as this, private giving and so forth. And quietly, she spoke to me and she said, yes, in your country. Generosity and our voluntary effort. And certainly if there's one person to be singled out in this country as the captain. <laughs>